This is Fisher Frying Products. I'm Dave Hertner. Welcome to The Nest. Our video newsletters provide weekly insight into building and flying our 15 wooden aircraft designs. Polini Motori of Italy is a gracious sponsor of our channel. Polini is the manufacturer of the Thor 250 DS, a two-stroke liquid-cooled 36 horsepower engine that is used in all of our single seat designs. Please take the time to watch our videos to the end as this assists us in the metrics that YouTube uses to rate our channel. Hit the like button if you feel that the content is worthy. We invite you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hitting the bell so that you are notified whenever we post our newsletters. Welcome everyone to our 20th episode. Uh, we'd like to thank everyone for taking the time to watch through our videos and click and subscribe and do all the things that you do that you've done to get us up to uh, almost 800 in our subscriber base. We really appreciate uh, having you aboard and uh, hopefully we can keep providing content that keeps it interesting. Uh, today, uh, not too fancy. Uh, I've had a lot on the go, so I want to congratulate uh, Floyd Welsh. Uh, we've completed his uh, Super Koala kit and uh, it is being shipped out uh, shortly. Uh, we want to thank him for um, what I call the COVID patience. Uh, we've, you know, we've worked hard to try to make sure that, uh, you know, we've, we've kept in operation and that we're putting out the kits that have been ordered. And um, I'm happy to say that uh, we're, we're catching up on the board and, uh, and uh, we want to invite uh, you out there. If you're thinking about purchasing a kit, uh, now's a good time to get your name on the board. We're delivering right now into, you know, March, April. Um, so if you're thinking about uh, getting your kit going, give, him, give me a call and uh, we will try to find out whether or not we're making a kit already um, of, that, of that model. If that's the case, then we make two at the same time. And we just did that with, uh, with Floyd's. We made two um, Super Koala kits at the same time and uh, because we had two customers. So that worked out great. Uh, next, I'd like to give you a bit of an update on the ARIA program. Um, we have been working on the fuselage and the wing spar uh, and we've got a bit of work done on that. We're quite, quite pleased with how that's coming along. Um, we are not going to get too uh, ahead of ourselves uh, in working on the airplane right now because uh, we've got some design work that we want to have done, done where we change the, the drawings from 2D to 3D CAD and um, in doing so we want to incorporate a couple of the changes that we want to make to the airplane, the winglets and, and whatnot. As well, uh, we want to look at the design for DFM, so design for manufacturing, which means we'll um, anything that we can make on the CNC router or anything we can have um, made easier um, materials changes. Um, uh, we'll be working with the designer to make sure that uh, you know we're, we're apples for apples for strength, and um, that we can um, we can try to get this super quick build kit kind of thing um, as far along as as possible for the builder, so that um, it cuts the amount of build time to get the aircraft in the air. Um, I want to welcome a new member to our our, our operation. Uh, we have. With, uh, with COVID and with the phone ringing, we've been busy and um, I hired a, another fellow to work on the floor. His name's Alfredo and uh, we want to welcome him to the Fisher family. Uh, he's done a great job so far. He's learned a lot uh, from cutting wood to working metal to reading reading blueprints to you know learning our bill of materials system and whatnot. He's uh, been a great asset uh, addition to our family. So welcome Alfredo. Um, the next thing I want to talk briefly about is that uh, we are working diligently on the plans conversion from 2D to 3D. Uh, the first aircraft to get any real heavy duty work done on it uh, has been the, uh, uh, the two of them, sorry, the, the, the Fisher 202 and the Tiger Moth have both have a fair amount of work done on them, but we're working right now on the FP202. Um, the rudder has uh, just been completed and we're working on uh, the wing structure right now in anticipation of doing the, um, the load analysis uh, of the spar uh, based on our want to change from Sitka spruce over to an alternative wood. And um, 
once we've got that load analysis done, then we, we can substitute in uh, alternative species um, with their different compression uh, ratings and tension ratings. And um, uh, then we can do a, a proper analysis um, and make the proper decision uh, to uh, change the <clears throat> change the species. Uh, that'll also maybe change the density of the wood. Uh, we will likely have to keep the same plan form, the same size. So if we go to a denser wood um, that's maybe a little more readily available, we may see a slight weight increase in, in the airplane. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be negligible, but we'll have to take that uh, into account. So um, that's that's exciting that we're going to have that load analysis done and and it's ongoing so we've built a database on a, a cloud-based database so that um, the designer who is out of country can work with us uh, easily and we can dump stuff back and forth uh, and 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 see what's uh, what's been done so it's been taking a little while to get all set up but now it's working uh, quite efficiently uh, the next thing I'd like to talk about is cozy carb or what was the carburetor heater systems um, from uh, SkyDrive. Uh, the purchase is now uh, agreed to and completed uh, from the asset owners and we'll be shipping all of the molds and the inventory from the UK shortly. Um, we have um, the next thing for us to do there was okay well we if, if we're buying the molds we're gonna have to have them made here and so um, luckily I have a friend in the casting business and uh, he's he said that he would uh, no problem take uh, take on the molds and make our make our parts for us um, turns out I have another friend in the in the uh, tubing bending business and uh, he has been contacted and uh, said no problem that he could uh, provide the copper tubings with the, the three bends in them that go that gets molded right into uh, the uh, the aluminum casting so that um, now and those were the two big hurdles we needed to 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 achieve and we did them right away so that was quite quite good that uh, we brought two partners in uh, to to make those parts for us and so we hope to have the 582 system the two stroke system uh, available in about a month because we've got some inventory with them that are coming that's coming over from the UK so we don't have to have those molded we've got a few left um, but the the 912 system. Uh, the Rotex 912 system was uh, they were right out of the the molded components and so we're going to be uh, doing an initial run of those and making those up and uh, and I hope to have those available for sale by the end of the year so been uh, quite uh, fortunate to to wrap that up and and uh, bring the the extra business in under the uh, Fisher umbrella uh, that said I'm, I'm gonna keep it short today I I, I want to thank everyone um, for sticking sticking with us and, and, and buying those kits and buying their accessories and purchasing Polini engines and all that you do because um, every little bit helps with us. Uh, we're a small operation and um, this COVID thing has really kicked a lot of people in the butt and, and we're very fortunate um, that building aircrafts is a solitary endeavor for the most part and flying aircraft. Um, but that said, we're not sitting on our hands either. We've, you know, we've got a bunch of different interesting projects that uh, uh, we're we're looking to expand our business uh, through this COVID projects, uh, COVID process, uh, and expand it by bringing in uh, aircraft like the Aria, which are interesting. We would be able to sell more kits, um, and and we've got a bunch of other things that we're that we're playing with there too. So uh, the uh, electric propulsion systems is, is another uh, area that I think is um, ripe for growth. So um, I want to say that maybe I got a little ahead of um, offering systems uh, pricing right now. We're still working on that. So I want to just maybe pull back from that a little bit. Um, and uh, want to let you know that we're still looking at putting together the 33 uh, horsepower, the 65 horsepower and the 110 horsepower systems. Uh, and uh, I've already been contacted by a number of individuals who who want to put them in everything everything from ultralights to to uh, sailplanes. So thank you and keep contacting me because um, uh, this is this is going to go. We are we are well along the way to developing um, the relationships we need and bringing the first systems on board. Um, and again, I'm hoping to have something available and ready for sure by the end of the year. So. Um, that's exciting. So anyway, have a great night. Uh, um, it's night here and uh, we will talk soon. Thanks again for watching. 
We try hard to bring you interesting content each week. To help us out, please like and share our videos. And to receive the latest info from Fisher Flying Products, click the subscribe button and ring the bell. See you next time from the nest.